So, Jeff, anything yeah. that you need in order to kind of create some safety and some space here in this moment with each other? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I think, uh, you know, I know, I know everybody here and yeah. I'm very comfortable with, with them and appreciative of this chance just to chat. Wonderful. And I'm going to pull down the curtains for myself so that I'm just really focused, um, in my conversation with you. So is there something you said, you mentioned that you had a couple topics that you might want to talk about. Is there one in particular that seems most important to you? Um, yeah, I'm pondering either like just um, my, my own just kind of way of managing work and what's important um, or my own wrestling with uh, like use of social media um, and what, what does that, what does that mean? Or, or what is that my relationship to it maybe? Okay. Um, and, if, if you think of those two, which one is drawing you as the most important of the two? Probably how I manage my, um, yeah, my, my regular working life. Um, social media is always something that's like resonating in there. And maybe it's part of, part of it, part of like the management of, of like the workspace life. Because mm -hmm. I use it, I guess, primarily around like promoting things like this on Facebook or, or whatever. But it's not my favorite thing in the world, and I, I, you know, Facebook was was down last week. Was that last week? Facebook was down for like six hours. I was like, thank God. <laughs> 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 Who needs that? Who needs okay. to keep, like, take a break? <laughs> constantly like rolling through that stuff. Yeah. Um, so. So managing this sort of work um, work life, it almost sounds like a little bit is the piece that seems most drawing your attention yeah yeah what is the what is the importance of that capacity that that managing of work well i, I pretty much um am my own, own boss I've, I've kind of you know i mean i have a boss i work with a team of people we're of course given like some things to do but like how i'm ordering my days what how i'm structuring things how i'm, I'm managing things is like all in my court and i've and that's um that's really been the case you know i was a pastor for 17 years started a church kind of always been like that self starter self uh, or organizer Mm -hmm. have found certain ways of like managing and and I think doing fairly well at that but um also finding you know like just wondering uh how I could like kind of improve that that space uh wondering how like how do I make my days the most kind of productive how am I prioritizing um there's a little bit of everything that I'm you know doing from, from coaching to retreat leading to trying to promote some of my own stuff um, along those lines of like retreat leading and coaching also happens in the context of, of my job. Um, and then just getting caught in the like, I'm just answering emails for four hours and just yeah. <laughs> kind of go into the next like to do or just hitting something to just get it off the to do list. And I have this experience of you right now, like, and, and please correct it if it's the wrong one, but yeah. I almost see you like juggling, juggling, juggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a great yeah. metaphor. Yeah. yeah. The juggling yeah. constantly. 
yeah. what does it do? Like, what what is the experience you would like to be having at the end of the day from the, all this juggling? Mm-hmm. Is there some experience that you would like to have where you where you're not maybe juggling quite so many things? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I th- I think like I, I I have the picture at the end of the day. I know when I have that kind of sense of like. Mm-hmm. satisfaction at the end of the day or able to like look back and feel like I, I've uh, uh, as much as I'm a person that likes to be about being and kind of being centered I also like to get I like to get stuff done I like things done yeah. <laughs> I like it if I look back on the day I'm like oh this got done this got done this got done this got done and if it seems like the significant like some significant pieces were cared for yeah. um um that or but sometimes that's not always it right sometimes it's looking back on a day and feeling because um like the the relational connections were meaningful there there okay there's yeah something there because i i just remember last week there were several like conversations that were coming up and i was like looking to get into the zoom call and get out of the zoom call right like it was like Oh, we got this half hour Zoom call. We're going to get it done. And then I got to go on to the next thing. And the half hour Zoom call turned into an hour and 15 minutes. And it was probably the most significant thing of the day. Yeah, this this idea of juggling to towards moving towards satisfaction. But the satisfaction, if I'm hearing you correctly, is really around how you're having meaningful relationships. Yeah, yeah, I derive a lot of my, I don't want to say value, sense of um, purpose, sense of like, it, uh, in, yeah, in, in allowing for that space mm-hmm. and, and feeling like impactful relationships or conversations or experiences are being had, but at times feeling like pulled by all the like, all the dang little, yeah, all the, all this, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So at the end of this conversation, what would make this most useful as we explore the the way that you show up meaningfully in relationships? Yeah, just m- maybe some way of just in my own sense of going uh, of recognizing uh, that I, how can I be present in those in those moments when they're when they're given? What 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 makes me fully present to those moments, and not get so anxious about getting to the to the next thing or just getting this done? Because I want to be in this space with this person, but yeah. sometimes there's an anxiety of uh, the the urgency of the whatever's next. Yeah, there was an interesting question you just asked yourself, which is what allows you to be present in that moment? Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's being able to put aside the the concerns with getting something done. Mm-hmm. or a certain amount of things done or 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 not or being uh uh attentive presence being a presence with who's before me and not being um driven by all the little things i want to cross off the list by the end of the day mm-hmm. what is the experience that you have when you're in that fully present moment with another human being? Oh, it's just, uh, and I think this is where coaching has been uh, a wonderful, like helpful process for me. Um, It's not like Princeton mentioned, like having his own agenda, you know, and it's, it's truly finding myself in a place from like, Oh, I'm I'm on board with whatever is happening here. I'm yeah. not trying to push my agenda for you, or even to just like get to the end of the conversation, or like how can we wrap this up, 
like, oh, I'm just, we're here. Mm -hmm. And I'm in a more authentic posture of really listening. So as you hear yourself say that, and there's the minutia that needs to be juggled, but there's this also this sense of this, the, the meaningful connectedness that you also enjoy. How do you discern when it's like, how do you discern when you need to shift your attention from one thing to another and then back? I mean, how do you make these discernments? Um, sometimes there's, there's a, um, when I'm not in a flow, there's not much discernment going on, right? It's just like picking off the next thing. Um, mm -hmm. One thing that's helpful to me is uh, I do have a, a practice of sometimes like intentionally plotting out the day at the beginning of the day mm -hmm. and writing in all the things that are going to happen. And, but also like just understanding, like I'm holding this loosely, but it's giving me some structure and some shape so that like, you know, after an hour of emails and to do's, I can, I can let that go move, you know, move on to the next thing. It, it does help me be more fully present to whatever it is I've kind of like decided to put into that, that, that space. Um, I just think sometimes I, I'm, I'm, I put way too much stuff into all the spaces. And how do you discern what things you need to stop juggling for? Like, how do you discern what all you're juggling? Cause it sounds like you may be juggling even, I don't know. I just have the steep Martin vision all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, How many cats can you juggle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I think I want to be more discerning about what I'm picking up the juggle. Yeah. And how do you start to pay attention and do that consciously with intentionality? Yeah, that's what I want to, that's what I want to figure out. Cause I mean, I'm, I'm called, there are things I have to do. There are things that need to be done, but are there other things that can be put down or not the priority or not essential? Mm -hmm. um, and how do I just have a more discerning space mm -hmm. around what it is um, I can hold? Is there a different energy or, or experience that you have when it is something that is really important that you pick up and juggle versus when you're juggling something that you really don't even have any energy for, but you're still doing it because it's on some list somewhere? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. What is that? What is that shift for you? Uh, it's just uh, en engagement, not, yeah, not feeling um, kind of like heaviness or the weight of how am I pushing through this? There's, I mean, when it's the things that I'm truly enjoy or, or that engage me create creatively, uh, there's more of a, you know, there's more of a lightness, there's more of a energy. Um, I think some of the difficulty or, around my just workspace overall right now is like, we're just very isolated. It's just, it's me in my, in my, in my office here. I mean, I have a great team of people that I, I work with, a great staff, but we're all kind of like isolated because we can't get together. Mm -hmm. And um, and when it, everything I've done, you know, for my job the last two years has been on on Zoom. Um, so, and I'm a relational person, so I'm missing that like mm -hmm. being in the room with others and like 
playing off their energy and us getting creative together it's just harder it's harder to do on zoom yeah is it's harder to do on zoom i'm not hearing it's impossible to do on zoom no because it's happened on zoom and there are great things have happened and i've led some virtual retreats that i feel like people really have connected with and have found it to be some good uh, life-giving space. Um, part of that because we kind of limited the Zoom. It's not like all on Zoom. It was like, hey, go be, go be for a while. And right, then we like, together come for, back. for a little bit of uh, a space uh, with each other, so. I wanna just touch base on, on where we are in the conversation. I know it was sort of this idea of the, all the things that you were juggling and life and then towards the satisfaction of meaningful relationships. What else needs to be explored around this topic as we're, you know, I'm looking at the time in the next, you know, few minutes. I'm not, I'm not sure, because I really am not sure if there's a resolution. <laughs> yeah, and what if what if there isn't a resolution a resolution, but maybe something to sit with? Yeah. As an, a part of the exploration that's ongoing about how you determine. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I mean I like the, the 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 metaphor of the juggling or the kind of the you know where you could think of the spinning of the plates, the like Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a part of me that yearns for kind of like less is more, go deeper with fewer things. And just wondering, mm -hmm. as, as I kind of look ahead, like this next month for me is crammed with like many, many things from now until Thanksgiving, but in December, things kind of open up. And then looking at next year, uh, I'm wondering if like there's space here to sit with like some discernment um, instead of just like part of me is ready to like fill next year's calendar with, you know, coach trainings and retreats and all the things. And we're having a big staff retreat next week. And we're gonna be talking about all the things next year. I'm like, I, I just, uh, I do want to step into that not with this like okay what do I what needs to be done yeah you know what shows up for me as you're saying that is almost like how do you create the healthy boundary that you need so that you can you can navigate this balance it isn't like a hard line balance like it's not a, it's not a teeter-totter right it's it's a wavy gray area but how you navigate that intentionally Yeah, yeah. So what are you taking away from this conversation? What's shown up as, as useful exploration? So I think just for me, I just, um, I operate better when I can create the space to think about how I'm creating the space. Like, I, you know, to take the intentional time to, you know, look at the bigger, look at the bigger picture um, and to be the more discerning about how I'm holding that space and what needs done uh, within it. Um, I, I wanna get back to, a, a, used to take like a, a day a month of just true kind of contemplation being away from everything. And I'd like to get back into that rhythm, which helps my discernment process. But I think it'd be great to couple that with a day a month that's truly like just about the intentional process of me looking ahead and saying, what's next? What's important? 
And, and so what action comes out of that awareness for you? Action, actions, depending. I need, I need to stick it on my calendar and stick to it. That's because uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it easily gets bumped. It's like uh, you know, contemplative prayer day. And then like, oh, this thing or that thing, or, ah, uh, well, you know, I got the contemplative prayer day. That's, that's space. Um, interesting. So what holds you accountable to that, Im the importance of that agreement and honoring that for yourself? Um, well, I, I liked what you were saying earlier about like trying to find that accountability within, within yourself, rather than saying, you know, oh, I should have, have Carolyn, my wife, you know, ask me every month or like, or my, or my best yet? friend ask me every month. Cause like, honestly, that never works. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I, I think it's just like, really like holding that space is what I'm, all right, here's the thing. And here's my confession, everybody here. Holding that space is uh, what I am telling everyone they need to do. Yes, yes. So it's around honoring your agreement with yourself so that you're in, in alignment with the values that you espouse. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then what's your next step? Um, it's, it's to uh, think more intentionally about what this space that's going to be opening up mm -hmm. looks like. It's because I think I want to like kind of utilize that, that time and space well in terms of, you know, thinking about next year and but I, I, I'm a kind of pro process per, like I appreciate process. I think there's a value to process. And I think if I like think about what, what my process is, how I want to honor what I value and what I am inviting others into in their own space, mm -hmm. um, I think I have an opportunity to, to sit with that and to be grateful for that and to be intentional about, you know, taking some days. And how do you protect that space and time for yourself so that you look in the mirror and are like, yeah, I put down that cat. <laughs> I need to, yeah, yeah, put down that cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't pick that cat back up <laughs> leave that cat alone i need this so i need to think about what what's going to hold me to that because i've said this before i've done this before and sometimes i'm good at the practice sometimes i am good at the practice of holding the space um so i think i need to reflect on like what's gonna what's gonna keep me there yeah is there anything else you really want to say out loud for yourself as we come to a close Um, oh, I just think I need to, uh, offer, offer myself the same grace that I like to offer others Yeah. and, and know that this is going to be, uh, uh, I'm not going to get it all figured out and have, you know, December is not going to be the magic month. And I have 2022, well, 2022 is just going to like roll perfectly. Um, but, but to like, be able to look back and know, and see like where where transformations happened in me and to know I am a different place than I was before and I can continue to grow uh, and to be uh, grace filled with myself as, as I do that. Thank you so much for being my partner today. Thank you, Lissa. Appreciate, appreciate the conversation. <laughs>